Shira7, I'm back. So I had a request to do a video for you guys today about how being too independent can push men away from you and make them not want to approach you or make your relationships fail or, you know, um, not good. So I thought that was an interesting request. And I, I do believe that being overly too independent as a woman will kind of attract the wrong type of men and also will repel the, the kind of men you actually want. They will, um, like a lot of independent women who make a lot of money and are financially well off or, you know, have their own business or like high up in their career. They seem to have a lot of masculine energy, which repels men who are masculine as well. Uh, a lot of men will say, oh, I want a woman who's, um, you know, makes money, da da, da 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 But as soon as they find out you make more money than them, then what? Then they don't feel like the man anymore. They feel like um, it's a competition. And then after a while, they feel like, oh, well, I can't prove myself to her because you know, I'm not man enough. I don't make as enough, enough money as her. I can't do anything else for her that she can't do for herself. So only thing she really needs me for is sex, but she can get that anywhere. Uh, I want to go feel like a real man somewhere else. So I'm going to go find a woman who doesn't make as much money, who expects less and who will look up to me like a big man, you know. So that's a lot of reason. That's a lot of the reason that um, a lot of women get cheated on who are independent because uh, usually they aim, f you know, they aim for men who aren't as, you know, well off sometimes. Um, and sometimes they aim for men who are too well off, who want that really ultra feminine woman who doesn't mind putting her career second or not even really um, pursuing a serious career because she knows that when she settles down and gets married, that's going to be her life. So a lot of very successful men won't even pursue a woman that's too busy to have kids or to uh, give them the attention that they feel like they have earned and deserved from working so hard, you know. So they will kind of stray away from the independent type. You know, um, and it's it's I'm not downing any independent women because we have to take care of ourselves these days. You know, um, in this world, in this day and age, a lot of men, especially um, like in the last few years, are not being the men that they were supposed to be. You know, they're leaving behind children. They're leaving families. They're, uh, you know, jumping from woman to woman and leaving behind a trail of like illegitimate children, broken relationships and, you know, upset women. Just the same as a lot of men are being mistreated, emasculated and, um, you know, ignored by independent women who really don't need them for too many things, you know. So it's kind of like if you're an independent woman and you make a lot of money, you should find either your exact equal that you can build a business with and build things with, and it can't be a competition, but men are naturally competitive by nature. So that's why I think that a lot of times these relationships just don't ever work out for the best. And some do, but you know, under, a lot of, you know, um, hard work, a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot, of, a lot of men cheat. A lot of men will cheat on an independent woman, beg her forgiveness, come back because they needed to feel like they were important and they were a priority and they were a big man and they were, you know, masculine to someone else because they don't feel that way with their independent woman, okay? So, you know, I just feel like if you're going to be independent, don't boast about it. Don't brag about it. 
don't let people know like if you're dating don't let people know what you do you know that's that's not really who you are you know if you associate yourself with what you do then you don't know who you really are because your job or your career is not who you are it's just something you do okay so um you know talk yourself down a little bit and i know a lot of women will get mad when i say talk yourself down but it's for a good reason okay because you want to see first of all when you start dating you want to see how bold this man's ego is and how great and grand it is and how masculine he feels when he thinks that he actually is doing better than you okay you need to witness this for yourself and then just for an experiment tell him what you really do and how much you earn and watch him shrink and dwindle and start to not take you as seriously this is the sad world we live in so you're gonna have to understand that um I always say, you know, unless you're married and getting ready to do your taxes together, I don't think men and women should know how much each other make, especially men who are dating uh, career women. I don't think that he should know how much she makes just for the sake of the relationship and his ego, okay? It might not be a lot. She should lie and say, oh, oh, I don't make that much and save her money and let him use his money and spend. Why? Because it makes him feel like a man. And she's saving, you know, she can save up and do whatever she needs to do with that money, invest it, blah, 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 blah. He, he doesn't have to know. My mom always says, never let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Okay. You don't have to be open and honest about every single detail of your life to be your, with a life partner and be a soulmate and whatever, whatever. No, you know, why that will take the mystery out of it that will create boredom and make you want to go somewhere else okay you don't have to know every single thing about the person you're with i you know what my husband never knew how much money i made when i first met him <laughs> and a, a lot of y'all think i was broke and whatever whatever but i had some money okay i came from money i had money my sister had money but he never knew that <laughs> Because if he had known that, he wouldn't have done the things that he did for me, okay? He wouldn't have paid my bills. He wouldn't have paid my car note. He wouldn't have paid for trips. He wouldn't have done any of that if he thought that I could afford it. He might have paid for a few things and he might have asked me, oh, well, you have this one or maybe you could uh, put something towards it. He didn't even know I had it. And the reason that he was so outgoing, generous, and giving, because it made him feel like a man and like he was masculine and that he could handle his business, okay? That's why you never let your left hand know what your right hand's doing. Because they need to be able to feel that about themselves when it comes to the woman that they care about, okay? Now, I know you'll say, oh, well, if he loves you, it shouldn't matter. It matters. It matters, okay? It matters because his friends, his family, you know, they they see him. His friends might joke around, oh, your woman makes more money than you, uh, you know, and it matters, okay? Men's ego are very fragile. So if you even have money, don't let him know. Don't pay for stuff, you know? Just say, oh, you know, I'm not making any money. I'm just, I'm barely making, I'm barely... You know, I'm 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 doing pretty good, but I'm not you know, I don't have anything to offer, you know, everything I go have goes to bills and blah 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 blah. Or to student loans or make up something. But don't ever let a man know you have money. Even if you do. You know, if you or if you're a, at work at a corporate office and you make a lot of money, just tell him, Oh, I'm you know, I I work at a corporate office and sometimes, you know, um, You know, I make up a, a position that doesn't make a lot of money. They don't know what you do. They don't have to know what you do unless they're getting ready to marry you. And then all of a sudden you can get a promotion after they feel like, you know, and still don't tell them how much you make. <laughs> um, I'm telling you all this for a reason, ladies. Okay. I'm going to tell you all a story about when I used to date guys with a lot of money and I was a so-called independent woman. <sighs> I learned from my own mistakes, y'all. Okay, so before I met my husband, 
um, I I was dating a lot of men with lots of money, millionaires, like millionaires, okay? But I was in, I was like in school, I was working, I was like, oh, you know, I had money. I was like, my mom had money, she would just give me money. I was like, oh no, I don't need your money. Oh no, I'm not gonna do that, you know? Oh no, I, 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 I was just being like really snobbish. And I saw how they looked like, you know, I would drive up in, in, in a car, a nice car, and they their face would just be like, like, I can't do nothing for her. I can't impress her. She's already got nice stuff. She already, you know. Mm. Um, so it, it's kind of like a disappointment to men sometimes when they know that they can't impress you or do anything for you. And so they get bored with you really quick and they want to move on to someone else so they can see this face. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love your car. Oh, thank you. What do you do again? Oh my God, you're so smart. You must be like big boss man, blah, blah. I know it's playing dumb and silly, but that's what they like, okay? So, fast forward a few few more years, um, I learned my lesson. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm out of school now. I'm working. I'm around rich men all day, and I see the interaction. I see how they look at, you know, their uh, colleagues. I see how they look at women. I see how they talk about women because I work in a predominantly male industry, and I see what they like. Okay, I worked around men a lot. And they like women who need them, okay? Even though they might not think they do, the look on their face when a woman is into what they're saying, impressed by them, infatuated by what they do for a living, you know, giving them praise, they love that they eat it up. Versus a woman saying, oh, I already know that. I know what to do. Don't worry about it. I got this. You know what? Oh, no, don't worry about it. I got it. I'll pay for it. And they're just like, they look like a little kid, you know, who's grabbing for their change at the checkout to buy their own gum. And then their mom says, oh, no, baby, I got it. Put it back. That's how they're looking. Okay. So you don't want to do that to your man. You always let him pay no matter how much money you got. Okay. Don't let him know how much you make. That's number one. Okay, if you drive a nice car, make up an excuse why you have a nice car. Oh, this was my mom's car. She gave it to me. Oh, never tell them that what you're capable of. Okay, never tell them what you're capable of. <laughs> and then if you're smart, you get them to pay that car note. Okay, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being like a gold digger, but they need to feel useful. Okay, they have to feel useful. If you can do everything for yourself, they're going to get bored of you, you know. Thing, life needs contrast you know he needs to be able to feel like he's your hero in some sort of way and if it's through paying a car note a bill or whatever let him do it you know if you're if you're not if you're not there yet with the car note give him a small bill cable bill something you know and this is not if he lives with you this is if y'all are just dating or, and in a serious relationship if he lives with you he needs to pay all the bills you know um especially the rent now i understand if y'all are the same age and struggling and stuff like that but he needs to be paying majority of the of the things okay so he feels like the man because when y'all start arguing and y'all are in that apartment or house or whatever and you bring it up oh i pay the rent here or i pay more bills than you now he doesn't feel like a man anymore now he's gonna go run to another woman to make him feel like a man okay that's why you have to let them pay so that when y'all do argue, he can say, well, I pay all the bills and I do this and that and you don't do anything. And, da, 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 da. and you can be like, you know, you're right. You know, you're my man. That's you. You take care of me. You're supposed to do that. Blah, 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 blah. And he'll be like, yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to do that. And what do you do? And now you're pushing it further in his head. So your next move is to get him to get you something else. Okay, well now that you know you're supposed to do that and if the words came out of your mouth, hmm, what else are you supposed to do? Okay, well, I'm, you know, I'm tired of working. I'm going to quit and just stay home and, you know, maybe we could start our family. You know, we can get married, whatever. Get married before you start the family. Okay, um, and he'll be like, well, you know, I guess I can afford it since I've been paying all the bills anyway. You know, th there, see? You have to make people think it's their idea in order to get your way. 
then when it comes down to it well you told me i could well you said you was the big man you know you said this and then when you're in front of his friends or your friends brag on him brag. yeah he takes care of everything he's such a good man a lucky woman and that's going to even make him believe in what he's doing even more okay so independent woman independent women stay independent keep your mouth closed about it don't tell him how much you make save your money make him pay for your stuff okay okay and maybe in the future when y'all are married after a few years or whatever and y'all getting ready to buy your big house your credit's good you got this money saved and bam you can have your dream house and just tell him it was a gift from some long lost relative so he doesn't expect anymore <laughs> okay so ladies secrets always keep your man longer M mystery keep a man longer let him feel like a man keeps your man longer and happy and and uh, feeling masculine and not running to other women to validate him because you can't okay so listen to women who pretend who act okay I told y'all I was independent when I met my husband. I had, but um, I was in school. I was working. My mom had money. I had a nice car. You know, I had barely, I didn't have any kids. I could go shop and buy whatever I wanted. You know, I had, I had it, you know. I was young, but I was independent. You know, I was what as independent as a 22 year old could get. But I needed to see if he was the man that I was going to marry. I needed to see if he was going to pay everything, not let me work and take care of me, provide and do all that kind of stuff. I needed to see that. Okay. And he didn't know I had anything. Okay. He just assumed I didn't have nothing. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I let him assume and I never told him how much money I had saved or uh, I had no debt or, you know, my mom makes this much money, you know, or this whatever, whatever. He had no idea. Okay, he had no idea, but he didn't know. He had no idea of the of the man I used to date that that made way more money than him. He had no idea, but let me tell you, when he felt his purpose and he felt like he could care and take care of me, that's when he, you know, wanted to do more and more. Okay, so independent women, let your men take care of you. If they can't take care of you. Because you're too strong, you're too masculine, you are you do everything for yourself. They're going to go find a woman who lets them be a man, okay? And I'm trying to be rude or mean, you know. I know a lot of women can't find a man and they just have accepted their independence. And that's fine. If you're going to accept your independence, then accept it and don't complain about men. Just say, you know what, I don't need a man except for pleasure and company, you know, I have everything I need. I don't want a man to give it to me. I like giving things to myself and earning them myself. And this is just who I am. I'm a strong-willed woman and I can't bend. I'm an alpha woman. So whatever she or Seven is saying is garbage. Yes, to some people what I'm saying is garbage because they have already claimed that they don't need a man. And that they're independent and they just want men, you know, for, you know, when they get bored. Okay, and that's fine. But I'm talking about women who are independent but still want a man and don't know what's wrong. Okay, we know that um, there's women that are on one side and are totally fine being independent and single, and then there's women on the other side who are independent but don't want to be single. And I'm just trying to let them know what could be driving these men away, what to do when you're in a relationship with a man, blah 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 blah. Okay, as for men. You know, y'all know the game. Y'all know the tricks of the trade. Y'all been watching this channel, whatever. Y'all still fall for it anyway every day. So, <laughs> and it's not really falling for it. That's basically what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to provide and protect for your woman and child and family anyway. You know, I don't know why y'all think y'all supposed to be doing something else. Um, you know, it's not like if you don't want to get married, then don't get married. It's not it's not your problem. If you don't want to be in a relationship and, and provide, then don't be in a relationship and provide. But if you are in a relationship and you are married, stop complaining and do your job. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, 
I don't, I don't, I don't know how to put it nice <laughs> um, without boring you. So I just say it how it is. And I, that's the only thing I can do. Some people love me. Some people hate me. But hey, I'm, I'm still doing what I do. I live how I live. I'm happy. I have the things I want and need. So I guess I'm doing something right. All right. I'll see y'all later.